Okay, so she took my opening. Uh, so how many of you had a glass of wine? Right now. So what is it about the most expensive wines in the world? I'm, I'm a certified sommelier, which means I drink a lot professionally. <laughs> what are they, and how much do they really cost, these really rich people who spend money on them? Well, they're Grand Cru Burgundy, Premier Cru Bordeaux. Don't worry about these names. They're Colt Cabernets from Napa, and they're also really, really sweet Riesling from Germany, or historically important, like that Chateau Lafitte for 150000 which was supposedly owned by Thomas Jefferson. Uh, one other really fascinating fact is, you know, there's so many wines made in the world every year. We drink four billion bottles a year, just in America. Um, but of all those areas, they're all from France. The most expensive wines in the world, they're mostly from France, a couple from America, a couple from Germany. But uh, they're from Burgundy, they're from Napa, or sorry, Burgundy from Bordeaux, and the area's the size is smaller than Napa Valley. It's smaller than Rhode Island. It's smaller than Seattle. Um, they're all aged in oak. You know how this, does anybody into wine know about the movement of less oak, you know, less, more expression of the grape and the terroir? Actually, the most expensive wines in the world are aged in new oak barrels. Uh, this guy, Henri, uh, pronounce it with me, Jaillet, Thank you. Uh, he's the most famous Burgundy winemaker. I, he's dead. I'm, he was a great guy. Um, <laughs> this, this is also Chateau Latour's the most expensive wine from Bordeaux. It's a Premier Cru uh, Chateau Latour. It's, it's expensive. Uh, it's also aged in 100% new oak. And can you get, guess where this oak is coming from? France. Uh, are these... Uh, these, these wines are not drunk. They are purchased by brokers or by collectors. They are put in really fancy bottles, which you have to break the glass to open. They are stored in very dark, dank cellars, and they're, you know, collected. In fact, there's a stock exchange for wine that you can collect and sell your wine on. In fact, you don't even need to see it. In London, where they have the stock exchange, there's three of them, uh, you don't actually want to touch the wine to, keep it have a, to have it keep a higher value. What varieties are they? Are they really esoteric varieties that we've never heard of, like Alianico? How many people have heard of that? Wow. Um, you guys are awesome. No, they're really common varieties. Pinot Noir, Merlot, Cabernet Sauvignon, Chardonnay, Champagne, and Riesling. We go back to this Riesling thing. I love it. Uh, for Wine Geek, that's really cool. Uh, so, so if there are regular varieties that are readily available everywhere, are these wines that are the most expensive wines really for real? Well, no, they're not. Actually, they're big fakes. In most of the fakes, just like you can have f faked, uh, you know, DVDs, that sort of thing. Well, wines can be faked too. The one on the top is real, the one on the bottom is fake. Uh, this was a magazine article that came out. Some really rich guy was really pissed off. Uh, that wine uh, that from, was from by Thomas Jefferson, it was in his collection. Turns out, uh, if you read the book, The Billionaire's Vinegar, I highly recommend it for geeky people who like to freak out about wine. That one's really great. It was not real also. So what about us? We can't afford $10,000, $300,000 for a bottle of wine. How much does it really cost to make the most expensive wines in the world? If you actually get brand new barrels and you get brand new bottles and labels and the most expensive grapes you can buy in the world, how much does it really cost to make these wines? Minus the storage and all that other bullshit that you don't want to focus on. Well, turns out, a wine like this uh, doesn't cost that much money. So for about 60 or or $100, you can buy a wine that has the same quality as the most expensive wine in the world. And you can taste the same great flavor of the most expensive wine of the wa world. My name's Madeline Puckett. Find me if you love wine. I have lots of cards, we can talk. Go to my website, there's shitloads of information. And I like to swear and drink a lot. Thank you.